Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you how to make one tower like this to store your ink pads. As you can see, this one that is stressed inks, they fit perfectly and it just sits on these um, two sides right here, okay? But if you have a different kind of inks, everything can fit in here. Okay, and this is an original idea from my friend Anja. And this is the picture that she sent me. She's a great crafter. She's a genius. <laughs> and she shared with me this idea and I just put it together and I'm making right here the tutorial so you can create one of these. And I want to let you know that Dollar Tree now is selling um, some items, like for example, these crates buy four. You don't need to buy 24, a case of 24, you can buy four. So you can maybe order 12 and it's free if you pick it up at your nearest Dollar Tree. So you don't need to look through all the stores, okay? I'm going to put the link of that in the description box so you can easily find these crates. And it will take time to make one of these because it's a long process painting letting dry gluing letting it dry so you if you have patience you are going to make a beautiful storage i hope you like this idea and start with the tutorial we need 10 crates like this from dollar tree and also one shaker we just need a lid and two signs for the base if you want you can buy a lazy susan and we also need one bag of these 36 wood clothespins, okay? We're going to take them apart, as you can see right here. You just twist them and then you just get that spring. We don't need it. You can uh, toss it away and we're going to use the clothespins. You just have to measure the depth like I'm doing it and then you can cut it with scissors. But some of them are a little bit thicker and you have to use your exacto knife okay and maybe just pass it like three times and break them with the scissors and it's going to be very easy then i'm going to make a template so i can measure in all of the boxes the same size and i'm going to measure at one inch and one eighth and you just have to make the same mark, like one inch and one eight, repeating the same measurement four times in your paper. Okay, then we are going to use that template to mark inside the boxes, as you can see right now. Okay, at the front and then at the inside. Okay, very deep in the inside. But it's going to be very easy to make the same mark so you can put the clothespins as a separator. Okay. And then you're going to get a ruler and make a line along to those two dots, okay? And now we are going to complete our template doing the same thing in the other side, okay? We mark one inch and one eighth. Then we are going to mark lines along those dots so we can see better, okay? Make sure your um, measurements are exact in both sides so your marks are even, okay, when you put the um, clothespins. Now, I'm going to mark this one top because this is a few millimeters shorter. <laughs> so, um, after I'm done with the boxes, I'm going to do the same thing now, but I'm after I done with the boxes, um, I put X on the top so I know that I measure that way, okay? And we are going to make the same thing to eight boxes. And this tower holds 40 ink pads total. And this is how we are going to glue the clothespins on the sides. And I'm going to use this woodwork glue from Dollar Tree to attach the clothespins in the boxes. And we are going to continue doing the same thing on both sides of each box. And 
after you are done gluing, you can grab a piece of chipboard and see if they are at the same level. If they are not, you can fix that before the glue dries. Do not use hot glue for this project. You can use any brand of wood glue. Wait for two hours until the glue dries and then you can start painting. And we are going to paint just the inside of the box and the edges at the front, okay? I bought this paint at Walmart and each one was 59 cents and I only used two bottles. After you are done painting them, you have to let them dry for about two hours. Now they are dry and as you can see, the Distress Inks fits perfectly. You don't need a base. Now we are going to make the bottom of the tower and don't forget to peel the um, label and we are going to glue four boxes together. Each box holds five ink pads. So now we are going to glue them together. Make sure they are not upside down, okay? So you put the glue on the side and then you are going to um, put the, um, the other box across. Now we are going to continue gluing the four boxes. As you can see, we are going to put the glue and that's the best thing of the wood glue that doesn't dry instantly. So you can um, fix them at the end after you put them all together. Okay, and then we are going to hold them so they can dry very tight. Okay, and as you can see, I'm just putting all the boxes first, okay? And for the last one, we are going to glue on that side and then on the side of the other box, okay? So you are going to just spread the glue and then on the side of the box that goes on top. See? Always look that they are not upside down. <laughs> Now put them straight and then you are going to tie them with this string, okay? And you have to tie them very hard, okay? Make a knot by pulling very hard so they can um, be very close together. And after that, okay, see on the edges and make sure they are straight and all of the sides. Then do the same thing with the other four boxes and let them dry for at least two hours. Now we are going to glue them together and I'm going to use this glue because I was running out of the other one. Okay, and this one was a Gorilla wood glue and this glue dries very fast. After you put a generous amount of glue, you are going to place the second part of the tower on top and make sure you put them straight very fast. And then you are going to use the clamps. I'm using this one from Dollar Tree to secure and put them together so it doesn't move, okay? And after you finish with the clamps, you are going to put something heavy on top, okay? I'm using um, two punches <laughs> that are heavy. 
Now I let it dry for one hour and I'm going to start painting the sides of that tower, okay? I'm going to keep the clamps and the holes, the two towers, and I'm going to uh, paint all of the sides. When you are done, you have to let it dry for at least one hour. Now, I'm going to use these two boxes that goes for the top, and I already painted the inside. Now, we are going to glue them together. And as you can see, I'm applying the glue on one side only. And after I spread all the glue in there, you, we are going to put the two boxes together. And then we are going to use a string to tie them around. Okay, and you have to secure very, very hard. Okay, so it, it stays glued together. And uh, make sure that the sides are straight, okay? Um, and the base too, because that has to sit on the tower. And we're going to use clamps to put uh, in the center on the top, okay? So it can uh, glue very hard. Then just let it dry for two hours. Now we are going to make the rotating device that goes um, in the base. And for that, we're going to use these two signs from Dollar Tree. Okay, we are going to take the labels. We are going to take the string. Okay, you just pull it, then use pliers to take the um, staples. Um, be careful with that. And then pull everything like this um, part, the stick that goes on there. And then uh, you can grab um, your pliers to get any nails okay this is like a chipboard okay. this sign is made out of chipboard it's not wood it's nothing hard okay so we are going to take all the papers that are sticking out then you are going to find the center in one of the signs and then you can use a paper piercing or anything that um can make a hole okay it's chipboard if you have a drill or something you can do it and the hole has to be bigger than the screw this is the screw is like about three quarters of an inch and then you will need two nuts in one of these uh, rings okay that will hold the, the screw and then i'm going to make make sure that the hole is bigger than the screw okay so it had to um go underneath with no problem so we're going to put this in a ring and then the screw and then we are going to use the lid of the shaker and we're going to put the two nuts okay first the first nut had to be loose don't make it tight and for that uh, i'm going to put like this paper that i had on the side and i'm going to um, put in there so it's not too tight with the other uh, sign now we're going to put the second nut on top okay you twist it and then you're going to get your pliers okay and hold the first one okay hold the first one and the second one tighten very hard with the with the first one okay and as you can see it's going to be loose because you put the paper in between okay now we are going to um just glue them together but before we glue them together we are going to paint the edges of this um th this sign okay so we can have a better look and i'm doing just that a little bit of the edge okay like about one inch around and then the sides okay and then for the other one, you're going to do the same thing, okay? And after you finish painting, you have to let it dry for at least one hour. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Okay. 
And after you are done, you are going to paint on the boxes that goes on the tower. Okay, and you can do the sides in the meanwhile. Now the signs are dry and I'm going to glue them together and before I glue them together I'm going to glue this felt on the base okay because um, I always put a felt so um, my table cannot have scratches or nothing like that okay and I'm going to use this glue from Dollar Tree that holds um, chipboard and uh, fabric very well I already make a review on that glue and I love it so I'm going to use that to glue the felt on top okay for the bottom And after I cut the excess of the felt, I'm going to glue now the two pieces together. And I add uh, glue all around the um, lid that I use from the shaker. And I'm going to make sure they are centered. And I'm going to let it dry for at least one hour. Now I'm going to attach the boxes on top of the tower and for that you have to put it on top and see, okay? See the size that is stick out and I already paint that part because um, I know that um, that part is not going to be covered by the box and that helps me to put the glue and i'm going to put the glue on top of the tower not on the boxes, okay? Because the boxes are a little bit bigger than the tower. And when you put them together, make sure the sides are even, okay? You have to turn the tower and see if all of the sides are even. Then just put something heavy on top and then let it dry for at least one hour or two. Now the tower is ready and we are going to attach the tower to the base. And for that, I already put it together and the base had to sit on the tower and the um, ring is a little bit bigger than the hole. So I'm carving with the cutter and the wood is very soft, okay? It's like carving a pencil. So you are going to do that all around a little bit and make sure that the base sits completely on the tower. Now, I apply the glue on the tower, okay, because um, it has all those holes, so you have to be careful with that, um, and then make sure that it covers all the circle, okay, I'm trying to put um, like a round, you can trace the, the base uh, to see how much you have to cover. Then you're going to put the base on top, and you're going to hold it, okay, and then put the tower straight. Then make sure it's centered and put the clamps, okay, attaching the tower and the base and let it dry for at least one hour. And while the glue was drying, I cleaned all the holes, okay? Uh, you can use a wipe and clean all the glue that was inside and then uh, you can paint them okay and let it dry all together and 
then this is how your tower is going to look now that tower is ready and as you can see right here this is how it looks and i put this um, velcro and this is the hard side okay to put the sponges and this is how it looks right here and this is how it's going to look see all your distress inks and right here the sponge that goes with it see so you have them all together and right here i have more ink pads and i put the sponges right here next to it and i cut right here these chipboard pieces and i recycle a binder an old binder and then i cut a piece of paper and i just use um tape and i have a beautiful base can you see a beautiful base for um other ink pads that are not the distress inks okay smaller ones like for example right here see and if you put a base you can save um all kinds of ink pads that you have okay and then on top you can save um your stuff okay for example i have right here this one a container with my old um, pads right there then i have two of these okay for these sponges right here and then i have embossing powders that i can use um and then um i have a refill for the clear ink and you can put something else you can put brushes i'm in love with this tower and it was so easy and inexpensive as i said you have to be patient and i hope you like it and make one of these to organize your craft room if you like this idea please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for all your likes your comments and for subscribing to my channel have a blessed day everyone bye bye